How's it going everyone? My name is AJ and today I'm going to answer a fitness question. Your hip joint is a relatively large and complex structure that not only allows for a wide range of motion, but also provides the stability needed to bear your full body weight. However, you may be in a situation where certain hip movements trigger a snap, pop, or click within the joint. Is this cause for concern? And if so, how do you stop it? I am going to answer this question from a scientific perspective. So without further delay, let's get started. If your hip makes noise infrequently with no clear trend, there's a good chance you're experiencing caviation, where air becomes trapped in the joint capsule over time and then is expelled when the head of your femur moves a certain way. The concept is similar to popping bubble wrap and is not something I would stress about. However, if the noise is consistent and in some cases painful, it's a different story. As the hip moves, muscles and tendons slide over various bony landmarks of the joint. During normal circumstances, these structures make contact with each other, but are under low tensile stress, which usually results in nothing more than a gentle love tap and cannot be heard or felt. However, if these muscles and tendons are over or under trained, injured or neglected, they stiffen, which increases the amount of tension they are under. And instead of a gentle love tap, the contact made resembles more of an aggressive whip, which typically creates a noise that you might hear or feel depending on how the hip is moved. So let's ask the million dollar question, is this dangerous? Short term hip clicking isn't something I would freak out about, but you should still do something about it. A problem like this is easier to address when you are younger and more mobile. The amount of work you'll need to put in to fix the problem is going to be way less intensive than if you waited until you're stuck with something more serious down the road and you're a little bit older. In some cases, untreated hip snapping might lead to something called bursitis, a painful swelling of the fluid-filled sacs that cushion the hip joint, which could put you out of the gym for a while. This is no bueno. So how do you stop the pop? Let's take a closer look. Before we take a closer look, I want to mention that I offer private online personal training. Take your fitness to the next level with expert coaching, customized programming, and accountability you won't find anywhere else. Visit ajsteven.com to book an appointment or learn more about how I can help you become stronger, more mobile, and confident in the gym or in the comfort of your own home. Before doing the correct stretches and exercises, you need to figure out which muscles are responsible for the noise. The easiest way to do this is to group all muscles that influence the hip joint based on function. I've done this for you here and also ranked them according to which group is most likely likely to be the source of the problem depending on which movement causes the click. Start by determining which movement causes noise. This might be a bit tricky since there is likely more than one movement that could be at fault here. I'm demonstrating a few variations if you need some guidance. I recommend sticking to one specific movement and going from there. Next, spend about two minutes or so stretching or mobilizing one particular muscle group. From there, retest the movement performed earlier and see if you notice a decrease or absence of noise. If you do, there's a good chance that particular muscle group is one of the culprits contributing to the pop. If you don't, try a different stretch or mobility. Drill. Once you have a good idea which muscle group it is, you shouldn't necessarily spend all of your time stretching it. Incorporating exercises is a critical step to not just stopping the pop, but preventing it from returning. In order to see faster results, I highly encourage you to include both. The full list of exercises I recommend for each group can be found in the description below. Feel free to give this method a try and let me know what you found out in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, share it with your friends, subscribe, and turn notifications on. Thank you all so much for watching and stay strong.